Hi, welcome back to the garden. Today is Saturday, March 18th, and you know what that means. We're going to do a quick review of this garden, then we're going to go to you and celebrate what's going on in your garden. And when I mean a quick review of this garden, it's going to be quick. It's as warm as it's going to get, and it's only around 40 degrees, and this wind, it's still, it's cold. We can see green in the mini greenhouses, so they're doing their job. I don't even want to open them up. And tonight, it's going to be cold. It's going to be down to 21 degrees, but that's supposed to be the last gas before spring. Can you believe it? Spring is two days away. But let's go on down to Florida and see what summer garden looks like, even though it's still a winter garden. Let's take a stroll through Bruce's Florida food forest. Beans, peppers, all of those greens, they're very lush. Your onions are bulbing. Wow, there's tomatoes everywhere you look. That's quite a garlic harvest, Bruce. Nice, your pineapple garden is fantastic. I really like that sunflower keeping watch. Doesn't look like too many of those blackberries made it into the house. Maylene, you continue to win the prize for the best carrots. Those are great. That cauliflower and those beans look very, very tasty. Bruce, that was amazing. Thank you. Let's go over to North Carolina and see what's going on in Larry's garden. Larry's garden in North Carolina is taking shape. Although Oreo looks all worn out from keeping watch on those berries. It looks like Willow's also working hard watching those young peas. Your containers and berry bushes look set to explode with goodness. Larry, you're lucky to have such cute helpers. Thank you and keep us posted. Larry, that was incredible. Give those cats a scratch for me. Yeah, I'm working my way towards the greenhouse. I want to see if it's a little warmer inside there. Now, if you're new to my channel, you're in for a real treat. Saturdays are reserved for you and celebrating what's going on in your garden. And I invite you to become one of the friends of this channel. Send me some photos and we'll celebrate what's going on in your garden. After all, that's where we get our ideas. That's where we get our inspiration. And that's where I get motivation to come out on a day like today. All you have to do is email me at waylandsmalley5 at gmail.com. The address is in the description box below. I guarantee you all of the gardeners would love to see what you're doing in your garden. And it doesn't matter if it's just a small container garden in the back porch, or if it's a full-size garden, we all learn something from each other. Let's go ahead and take a look at what Patrice did this year. Patrice, this is excellent. Your first ever radish, and in the middle of winter, no less. This is why we do it, because it tastes great. Thank you for sharing. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. It's about 80 degrees in here. No wind. Patrice, that's why we do it, because it tastes great. Let's go on down and take a look at Dan and his hoop house. He's doing a little better inside his hoop house than I'm doing in this greenhouse. Dan's hoop house is thriving, and the winter planting challenge has put his family way, way ahead of schedule. Along with all those new starts, your garden will be full of awesome goodies. Thank you, and we can't wait to see how this grows. Dan, that was incredible, thank you. My heat mat strategy seems to have worked last night. Lettuce is all still doing good. All of the cabbages are doing great. Let's go on down to zone eight and see what Mike and Linda have going on in their garden. Mike and Linda's carrots have filled this bed and their onions are growing nicely. Can't wait to see that rooster covered with growth. Thank you for the update. Looking great. Mike, Linda, thank you, that was great. Look at what I just found. Spring is definitely on its way. Oh, oh boy. It looks like I spilled some pea seeds. Well, I really didn't spill them. It was kind of a surprise for my wife. Who knew it was going to get back down to 21 degrees? We'll see if this heat mat setup's going to keep this warm enough tonight. If it does, we ought to be in pretty good shape. Let's go on down to Texas and see what's going on in Valerie's garden. Valerie, that's the way to grow sweet potato slips. Texas is in full bloom for sure. Did 
Your potatoes and containers look wonderful. You'll be eating peas before you know it. The babies in your nursery are sprouting and will soon join the rest of your container garden. That's just simply amazing. It looks like the winter greens are still coming in. Your garden is simply blessed. Thank you for the motivation. Valerie, as always, thank you. Leave a comment down below and let everybody know just how much you appreciate them sharing what's going on in their gardens. You can do this too, and I'd appreciate it if you let us help celebrate what's going on in your garden. Until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.